everyday materials in an extraordinary context. That's David Mach's trademark. Playing cards depict the images of comic book figures. Wooden matches form a man's head. Wire coat hangers become monstrous animal heads. And colourful candy wrappers turn into delicate human figures. You ask me that question, why do I use all these different materials as if I'm some sort of nut? You know? well, maybe I am. Maybe um, I've become over the years a kind of um, a materials junkie, you know, where I just can't get my hands on enough stuff uh, to make things with. You know? I, th I certainly feel like that. I'm, I get very excited by uh, material and what I might be able to do with that. David Mach has three different studios around Britain. He makes heads from matches in his London studio. Depending on the size of the head, it can take him up to five months to build one of these sculptures. They fetch as much as 20,000 euros at auction. He created his first one of these in 1982. I got a, a review about a show that I'd done. Um, I'd used thousands of magazines to make sculpture and the reviewer said, this guy's like somebody who makes the Eiffel Tower at the weekend at matches. And I thought, hmm, you know. Well, nobody actually, you know, they don't use matches, they use small pieces of wood. So I thought I'll use matches. And I made the first head. And it took me ages to make, it was a pain in the to complete. A buyer once accidentally ignited a head made of matches. Since then, David Mach has used this material for fiery performance art. Um, so it's a bit of a cheat, really, to, to use that material in a way. And it's nothing. Nobody, you don't go home at night, wow, I guess I found some fantastic matches today, dear. You know, I do. Sadly, I do. Nobody else does, you know. I, I like that. I like the nothingness of them. Mach also works large scale. One of his many open air installations, Out of Order, can be seen to the west of London. He created his first giant sculpture in 1983, a nuclear submarine made of 6,000 car tyres. One of his critics tried to set it on fire, but without success. I like things that are, uh, that are in life, that are in your life, whether you like it or not. You know? you know those things, you live with those things, you moan about those things, you're happy about those things. You know. Who knows what your relationship with those things are, but you do have a relationship. That immediately connects me to you if I start to use that stuff. You know? Mark's use of everyday but unconventional materials is also displayed in a London office building. His Spaceman is made of thousands of wire coat hangers and was inspired by the TV broadcast of Neil Armstrong's first steps on the moon in 1969. So snobbish in the art world, you know? What do you do? How do you do? How do you make it? Where do you show? How much do you sell for? Blah blah. blah. Um, and I'm very wary of that, you know. And the idea of making something with coat hangers is so offensive to that. I, get, I sort of like it for for that reason, you know. David Mach's most recent work, also made of wire coat hangers, is currently on display in London's Southwark Cathedral, a crucifixion. In recent years, Mach has made several sculptures with Christian religious motifs. It's the kind of work that everyone has an opinion on. I haven't seen it, uh, anything like it anywhere else. It's interesting. But I wouldn't like to look at it all the time because I think you can feel the pain. I'm not a Christian man, but I don't think it belongs in the church. After completing a marathon exhibition tour, the work will be sold for about 700,000 euros. Some collectors have already indicated interest. I don't make things so that I want people to yawn and walk by with no interest, you know? I'm trying to grab their attention. I mean, that's, I'm an artist, that's what, that's what we do. It's not a gimmick. It's not, um, oh, well, I'm going to do it just to get your attention. I'm doing these things because I'm driven to do them. I mean, you cannot, I mean, it's easy to make something for people to, to walk by it, but, uh, believe me, you know? Um, but if you want to make a connection, and it, I mean, I think the materials kind of do it in a way. They kind of do this. <laughs> Come and have a look at this. You know, what's this guy doing, you know? Whether it's chocolate bar wrappers or matches, the Scott David Mach uses everyday materials to make very unusual artwork.